Hello, my loves. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it has been a minute since I have created a video that is just me and all of me coming through and where I'm not in a channeled state with the Archangels or the Ascended Masters or doing a Reiki session. So I thought it was about time that I hopped on here and shared some wisdom with you all coming through from my higher self, my earthly experience. And it's going to be a good, a good one today. And I'm assuming you already know know what I'm talking about. I'm going to be talking about how to attract your soul family into your life, how to attract relationships, connections that truly feel aligned for you into your life, because those are the ones that are most nourishing for your soul. Those are the ones that are most expansive, that just feel so, so good. Also, if it is your first time here, if you are new to my channel, my name is Lizzie. I am an angel channeler, a Reiki healer, and I'm here to help spread love, light, and positivity, and also help be that light on your spiritual journey as well. You're not meant to navigate this earthly journey alone. So I am here to help be that guide for you if you are seeking guidance in any way. I'm sharing all the wisdom that I've gained from my journey so far, and I hope that this can help you on your path as well. Okay, now let's get into how to attract your soul family into your life, how to bring in those soul nourishing connections, those genuine connections that just set your soul on fire, where when you meet them, you're like, wow, I feel like I've known you forever. Well, the very first thing, my piece of advice, my very first piece of advice would be to honor all that you are, really be in your authentic vibration and not be afraid to let all parts of you shine. So when you're allowing all that you are to come through the weird side side of you, the quirky side of you, the spiritual side of you, all that that is, that is a very high frequency because you're allowing your whole light to shine through. And when you're hiding parts of yourself, then you're going to attract people that are also hiding parts of themselves. And that doesn't make for a deeper connection. So when you just lay it out all out on the table, the people that are meant to be in your life will naturally gravitate towards you because that is your truest soul essence. That is your highest soul's frequency when you're embodying all that you are. And we don't want to settle for, oh, almost there. We want, we want our true soul family to come in because when our soul family comes together, it is so expansive. It allows us to thrive, to feel love on such a deep level and to also feel very safe and and comforted by this love as well. So you may be someone where this comes really easily for you, where you are just able to let everything just be shown. And you're like, yeah, this is me. This is all of me. Accept it, take it, whatever, leave it. If you, if you, this doesn't resonate with you. And for some, this may be harder where you feel scared to show all these parts of you because you don't know how you're going to be perceived. You don't know if people are going to think you're weird, whatever it may be. And if this, if this is you, that's that's totally okay too. It's just, there's a self-love component that needs to be addressed. And this is something that I had to work through as well. So when we are still thinking about how we may be perceived or we shouldn't do this because someone may think this of us, then we are doing ourselves a disservice by not letting our true authentic nature to shine. We are actually giving our power away by doing so. And that's not okay. We want to take our power back. So through this self-love journey, where you're able to really look at all parts of yourself with compassion, with love, that is when you're strengthening your relationship with yourself and getting to know your soul better, quieting the ego, because that ego will chatter away. And it's like, oh, if you do this, then someone's going to say this. Or if you do this, then um, so-and-so won't talk to you anymore. Whatever the ego is saying, you'll be able to distinguish times when this is the ego speaking, or this is your soul that's guiding you to do something. This is your soul that's shining through. And when we can get to a place of quieting and giving that ego a break of like, hey, you know what? I actually don't want to listen to the ego anymore. I'm going to let my soul guide me. Your heart chakra will open for you. And that strengthens the relationship you have with yourself because the most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself. And from there is when you are able to attract those aligned 
partnerships, relationships, connections into your life because of that love that you have with yourself that emanates from you. And that is so, so magnetic. Now for my second tip, if you are calling people into your life, aligned friendships, connections into your life, you're going to have to make space for that energy to come in, for those souls to come in. So if you are still holding on to friendships that don't feel aligned anymore or connections that just don't feel right anymore, it's time to make space and to, to be okay with letting these people go. That doesn't mean like cut off cold turkey or maybe for some of you, it may be that, but allowing yourself to be discerning of, okay, how much time do I have to really give these people if they no longer feel resonant with my soul and, and creating that space for your soul family to actually come in, your soul family members that are meant to be here with you during this time in creating a beautiful life, experiencing these beautiful things together. I had to go through this hefty shedding process of letting go of what no longer was in alignment with this new frequency that I was stepping into to fully embody this new frequency. And it was not easy. It definitely was not easy. It was a process. And there were times when I was really fighting it, but I knew deep in my soul that if I truly wanted to to attract these, these new connections in, to attract the life that I truly desired, I had to let go of what no longer was in alignment, what no longer resonated. Take the time to also grieve these old versions of yourself. Take the time to also grieve these people, these past connections that no longer feel right anymore as well, because it's important to give yourself that time and, and knowing that a chapter has closed and a new beautiful one is opening up. My next piece of advice would be to actually ask the universe to guide you to your soul family, to connect you with your soul family. This is also part of the manifestation process. So you can't actually call your soul family in if you don't call them in. So don't be afraid to ask your angels for support, to ask your team of light for support, because they want you to connect with members of your soul family as well, because this is for your highest good. So something that you can say to call in your soul family is thank you, angels. Thank you, universe, for connecting me with my soul family. Thank you for bringing me into union with soul connections that feel so aligned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Use whatever words feel good for your soul. And it is important to express gratitude because this always speeds up the process of manifestation. And then lastly, my final piece of advice would be to actually put yourself out there. So this could look like whether you're out in public and you just feel like you want to go up to someone and talk to them. Try to put yourself out of your comfort zone and introduce yourself to someone, maybe compliment them on their shoes or their dress or their hair, whatever it may be, or their energy and just be like, I really love your energy. Where are you from? And it might feel uncomfortable at first, but it's actually a great way to just form human connection. And more times than not, other people are also seeking that human connection as well. Another way would be to join groups or take part in some community events that allow you to meet new people that may have the same interests that you do. So whether there be a yoga studio or a spiritual center that creates these events that are of interest to you, go to those events, see what people you meet and allow yourself to let your walls down a bit and, and let that authentic part of you shine, like let your light shine. Because as you do so, that will attract those people that are meant to be in your life. There's so many, so many channels, so many avenues that people can flow into your life. So have an open mind with how your soul family can come to you too, because you may be pleasantly surprised. And that would be my main advice when it comes to bringing in members of your soul family, coming back into union with them. Another thing that I want to say is that there's going to be that soul recognition there when you meet members of your soul family. So I get this all the time. How do you know if this person is part of your soul family? family, well, you'll definitely be able to feel it. So soul recognition can come through the eyes or the voice or just being in their energy, feeling like you've known them forever. And that's because you have, you've experienced past lifetimes together. You've experienced different dimensions together and you're here and now to help each other's each other on your earthly journeys, which is so, so beautiful. I feel so, so thankful for all of the beautiful, beautiful souls that have come into my life that just feel so good in my heart because it truly is something special. And sometimes I, I, I literally am sitting there and I'm looking at 
this beautiful soul in front of me. Like, how on earth did you come into my life? And they feel exactly the same. <laughs> so I'm excited for you all to experience that feeling as well, because it's, it feels kismet, it feels synchronistic, and it just feels very much in alignment. And what a special, unique feeling that is. And that is a wrap for this video. I hope that this helps you better understand how you can also call in those relationships into your life, those friendships into your life, those connections that really feel good in your heart, in your soul, and just resonate on a really, really deep level. If you have any questions at all about connecting with your soul family, please let me know in the comments below. I would also love to hear your thoughts on this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all so much love and so much light. May blessings and miracles flow your way today and every day. Bye everyone.